What's up, everybody? It's the Rogue in Disguise, North American community contributor for World of Warships Blitz. And if this is your first time here or been here for a while, well, make sure you smash that like button. Oh, but yes. So you can catch future content like this when we put about there. Oh, but yes. So today we're going to be talking about the Shobar. I don't know if I'm enunciating it correctly, but hey, we're going to dive into it anyway. It's part of the new heavy cruiser line that's hitting the French tech tree here in World of Warship Splits. And oh, but yes, it is an interesting ship indeed. It does have that beautiful capability of bow tanking because both sets of guns are up on the main bow while the secondary guns are on the rear of the ship, slightly covering the side. So you do have a little bit of secondary gun armament on the sides, but mostly it's pointed in the rear of the ship which makes it for kind of an interesting situation. It's more like a Richelieu kind of play for a cruiser, but 330 millimeter main guns. And let's dive into the stats and find out what's going on with it. 39,393 hit points in total citadel protection at 10%, fire and flooding resistance at 12.5%, damage reduction at 10.5%, torpedo damage reduction of 11.13%. Max speed of 33.07 knots, time to full speed of 13.79 seconds. Max traverse speed of 7.40 degrees per second, time to turn of 9.91 seconds. Main guns, 305 millimeter main guns, 50 MLE, 1930s, and a 2x4 facet, like I said right there. Apologize if I said 330s, but they're 305s. Reload time is just under 16 and a half seconds, which is pretty nice, um, considering the size of the guns. Range of 13.26 kilometers. Really decent for this ship. Main battery high explosive damage is 873 with an 11% chance of setting a fire. It, it could be a little better right there, honestly. But it, for what it is, for a tier 8 fire starter, it's not that bad. It is over that 10% threshold that I do like. Um, main battery armor piercing damage is going to be 1,215. Citadel damage rate of 250%. Turret traverse speed 7.70 degrees per second. Not too bad. 130 millimeter secondary guns. They were built in 1932 in a 7x2 facet with a 6.5 second reload time with at a max range of 6.21 kilometers. Secondary battery high explosive damage is going to be 330 with a 2% chance of setting a fire, which I, I do think that should be like 4%. Feels a little weak in the fire setting department, but overall it could be a little better. I think it's all right. Uh, Anti-aircraft armament is kind of meh at best at 132 for your large caliber AA damage with a range of 3.78. Small caliber AA damage of 123 with a range of 1.80 kilometers. Surface detection, we didn't go all out like we did the last one, but we did get it down to 9.84 kilometers, which is not bad at all. Um, overall, I, I think it's a fun ship. It Definitely do recommend that you get a commander that suits the skills that it has for the ship, as it does have Engine Accelerator 3, Rapid Reload 2, and Air Defense Alert 1. I would spec your commander in into these three skills for sure, because having the extra Rapid Reload and the extra uh, Air Defense Alert is real handy in combat. I do find myself in multiple situations where I was on the edge of just bow tanking. Just cuddling up next to an island, bringing my bow just a little bit and let the main guns roar for their 305 millimeter main guns that they are. And it, it worked out pretty well. All I had to do is slam it in reverse and go. Really good destroyer killer, I think, when especially when you load up with high explosive damage. Other cruisers, with the rapid reload, it does take on a different characteristic on that situation when you can bow tank them versus like other ships that are cruisers that have to go completely broadside in order to take advantage of all their guns. This will give you the advantage of having bow tanking capabilities against other cruisers and destroyers and mitigating torpedoes all the way together. But if you guys like this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and turn that bell to all to catch all that we do for World of Warships. Let's, oh, but yes. And guys, until the next video, guys, don't do anything I wouldn't do twice. Oh, but yes.